Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's start with a simple example on the basic concepts of motion in a plane using vector notation. So here we have a curve. Supposedly we're traveling along this curve at some amount of time. We have a position vector pointing to any point along the curve and then we have a velocity vector from that point uh, that will then be parallel to the curve at that point. We're trying to find the position vector, the velocity vector, and the magnitude of the velocity, the speed of a particle at time equals zero that's moving along that curve. And here are the two parametric equations of the curve. Now again, this curve doesn't necessarily exactly represent these two parametric equations and vice versa. This is just a general concept here. But anyway, this is the equations we're given. Now based upon this, we're going to first find the position vector and then we're going to evaluate the position vector at t equals 4. So the position vector is going to be equal to the x function as a function of t in the i direction plus the y function as a function of t in the j direction. And so that means the position vector now can be defined as t squared in the i direction plus that would be 2t in the j direction. So now let's evaluate that for t equals 4. So now the position vector when t is equal to 4 is equal to, well that would be 4 squared or 16 in the i direction plus 2 times 4 or 8 in the j direction. So this would be the position vector when time is equal to 4 from the origin 16 in the x direction and 8 in the y direction. Next we're going to find the velocity vector. So to find the velocity vector as a function of time that is equal to the derivative of the position vector. So we take the derivative of the position vector which will be 2t in the i direction and plus 2 in the j direction. Now we're ready to evaluate that for t equals 4. So now we have the velocity vector when t is equal to 4 which is equal to 2 times 4 which is 8 in the i direction plus 2 in the j direction. So this is our velocity vector after 4 seconds, presumably the time is in seconds, after 4 seconds have elapsed, which means we're moving 8 units per second in the x direction and 2 units per second in the y direction. Now we want to find the magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed. So the magnitude of the velocity vector is going to be equal to the square root of the x component, so that would be v sub x quantity squared plus v sub y quantity squared. So the x component squared and the y component squared. So here we have the x and the y component. Of course, this is the general format. What we can then do is we can say that the magnitude of the, of the velocity vector is equal to the square root of 2t quantity squared plus 2 quantity squared. That would be the general magnitude. That would then be a function of t, but then if we want to find what it is when t is equal to 4, we could then say v when t is equal to 4. That would be equal to the square root of 2 times 4 quantity squared plus 2 quantity squared. So that would be equal to 8 squared, which is equal to 64 plus 4, which is equal to the square root of 68. Or we can use this equation right here and say that the magnitude of the velocity when t is equal to 4, I guess that should be a curve right there, there we go, that would be equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 2 squared. Again, that would be the square root of 64 plus 4 or the square root of 68. So either way, you can find the answer for that. So here's a simple example of how to use motion in two dimensions. Find the position vector, the velocity vector, and the magnitude of the velocity based upon these two parametric equations for the x and the y direction. And that's how it's done.